Hi, I'm Jade, and today we're doing a Mary's Diamond Diamond Painting Unboxing, plus, for you guys, a little giveaway. First off, I'd like to welcome you, or welcome you back, uh, to my channel, where I do all things craft uh, and curly hair related, as well as vintage things and cottagecore things. You know, the usual. So if you're into that type of stuff, or diamond painting, as we're doing today, uh, why don't you like, comment, subscribe, and uh, join the little family we have here. First things first, uh, I wanna mention a little bit about my shopping process. Um, I did reach out to Mary's Diamonds because I had seen some stuff about them online, but I had not seen a lot of post reviews about their 2.0 kits, which is everything they have on their site right now. I don't even think they have any of their 1.0 kits. And um, I went a little buck wild and I bought uh, seven paintings. Three of which, okay, were not just for me. My friend also was buying diamond paintings, so she bought some in that order. And then uh, Mary's Diamonds, like, uh, very kindly sent me a free diamond painting, which is going to be the giveaway item, which I'm going to unbox that for you guys so you can see what's able to be won. Um, because, well, for Mary's Diamonds to me, diamond paintings they don't have the little thumbnail that shows you what's in each box so I did have to open them and since I opened it I may as well show you because what differences there really so that way I can show you a little bit more of the quality for what you're able to win so let me move you guys down to my table so you can see the first canvas because I will be showing you the first painting I got kit up and give you a little overview of everything I've learned after doing my first section right here um because I wanted to be able to tell you guys the quality since I see there aren't very many reviews I don't like doing unboxings if I can't tell you that I recommend them so yeah let's do that now a few facts about this canvas um I got it in size 60 by 60 it does say so over here and there are 41 colors which I think is really nice for the size of this canvas by the way sorry that you see a glare in the camera I can't really stop it unless you don't want to see the true quality. I'm gonna slide this up so you can look at the piece I've already done so you can actually see a lot of the detail and quality while I'm talking. Um, what the kit comes with, they come with all of their drills and they come with two very basic um, tool kits. I don't really need these, I'm not going to use these, so I'm just gonna put these off to the side. Um, but you know, if you were going to buy this for someone or yourself and this is your first diamond painting canvas, you won't have a hard time doing so. Now, one thing I want to mention is the drill filled is extremely clear. I have never seen a drill filled this clear, not even with Diamond Art Club. They are a close second, but this is much clearer and I will show you. These drills are even clearer in person than they are on camera and they're incredibly clear on camera. Here, I'm gonna peel off some of the glue so I can show you a little better. So there's no, um, what is it called, glare. These are so clear and I, I am really happy with um, the drill filled. Usually I don't have that hard of a time, but I noticed with this, I don't even need an overhead light, let alone a light pad. With Dreamer Designs, I find their canvases to be very dim, um, so I usually have to use a light pad. And with um, Diamond Art Club, I tend to have to use the overhead light. This I feel like I could do anywhere, so I think these would be great travel paintings, especially because they do come in different sizes. I believe this also comes in a 50 by 50. And Mary's Diamonds comes in both round and square. But one downfall of the squares, which I will show you the drills now, is that they come um, with no AB drills. Squares just are as they are, which I am fine with. I'm not that huge of a fan of AB drills. So to me, it's not a big loss to not have ABs. But if you are a huge fan of ABs and you don't wanna work on a painting without them, then I recommend going with the round. The next painting I will show you is a round, so you will be able to see the quality of those as well. But I have to say, I love their rendering. I feel like it's very true to the artist's intentions. And it's not so confetti heavy that it's irritating, but it has enough confetti that you really get the detail. I prefer um, this kind of rendering as you can really see the face as the artist intended. I don't like it when companies re-render the paintings and they no longer really fit what the artist 
wanted to show you because if I'm going to buy something for the art, I want it to be what the artist intended. You know what I mean? So these are all of the colors that come with this kit. They are very bright, very amazing. And as you can see, they are brighter than the canvas. And honestly, I like there being a slight difference. So it's like the picture gets revealed to me as I do it, but it's still enough that I can see what I'm doing, if that makes sense. Um, and I have to say, I am extremely impressed with the drill quality. I have not found hardly any tabs. I think in the whole thing, this whole section, which is um, 20, 20 drills wide uh, and however big the painting is wide, so 60 centimeters of 20 drills, this is all the trash that I've had. This. That's it. And that's black. All of these black drills right here and over here that I used, that's all the trash I've had. I had three with tabs and one that wasn't fully formed. This is just drills that I spilled while I was kidding up. And this is usually for twins. And I usually find about two twins in a section this big. And I have not seen any twins, even when I was filling up this whole canvas. Now, to prove my point about the drills being good, this is the color 310. As you know, if you diamond paint, 310 is always the worst quality. Look at how beautiful those line up. I usually can only, f oh, there is a uh, thread. Sorry, I am also a seamstress. Um, I only see one with a tab. Even on Diamond Art Club or Dreamer Designs, which are considered like, you know, high quality, you know, household brands because they, you know, they're, they're higher end. So they tend to have, you know, the only trash I see is this one little thing, which there's always like little trash that the sorter for the drills doesn't kick out. I see three pieces of trash and this is about 1200 drills. So for there to be that little trash in 1,200 310 drills, I'm incredibly impressed. And I already made two more purchases with Mary's Diamonds because of it. Oh, well, I spilled one. A couple more things about the canvas. The front feels uh, fabric-y, almost identical to either uh, Diamond Dots or Dreamer Design. So this is very silky, kind of like... um. Just, you know, if you've ever had Dreamer Designs or uh, Diamond Dots, it's that canvasy feel. And then the back is exactly like a polyester uh, felt that you would get at a sewing store. That's exactly what this feels like. It's very smooth, very soft. I actually really like this. Um, yeah, I enjoy it. This is just a cover minder. Ignore that. Well, I mean, they're plain magnets, but that's what I use. And I really like the branding for everything. There's Mary's Diamonds all over this. And um, actually, real quick, I'm going to get one of my other kits so I can show you how the drills came. These are my square drills uh, that came with... Um, I forget what it's called, but I'll show you that in another unboxing if you guys like to see it. They now, instead of coming in different um, types of packaging and prepackaged drills... They are all individually scooped into uh, baggies. So if you wanted to, you could work straight out of the kit. You do not have to kit up. I prefer kitting up. That's just my jam because I do go from my husband's house to my house. So it's nice to have a sturdier thing to have. But they come labeled and ready to go right out of the bag now. And like I said, the quality, sometimes you can see a little bit better... Um, when they're in a bag like this than in these containers but the quality is fantastic and there's hardly even any dimpled drills let alone tabby drills i'm gonna scoot these out of the way so i can go back to showing you the canvas Ooh, drop things so the only downside i will say is and and i guess this isn't that much of a downside it's more of a dreams versus reality type of thing my dream would be having a canvas that has zero percent um gapping when it comes to drills even whether it's round or square drills um but that's not going to happen there isn't very much gapping i say this is comparable both to dreamer designs and diamond art club there's always going to be some gapping see right there there's a couple right here 
it's not horrible and if you were to seal this i don't think there'd be an issue also no popping drills even if i fold it the wrong way none none fell off right now i can twist it it doesn't matter they do not pop off and i think that's fantastic uh just to show you they are very sticky you can hear that even with my finger i feel like it's almost impossible to ever get a painting that is 100 percent gap free because the only one I had that was that was an Amazon one and there was so many popping drills. So I suppose it's kind of a give and take. If you want popping drills, then maybe that's worth it. But I think this is phenomenal. And like I said, I really like the textured detail of how they render this. Overall, I'm incredibly, incredibly impressed for this being the first um, Mary's Diamond diamond painting. I unboxed and kitted up and started working on as you can see I was so excited I did this all the first day and I just love all the green uh my friend actually said that she looks like me which I didn't see until she pointed it out but she wants me to put a streak of green right here to match me and I'm thinking it possibly might because she does have a similar fashion sense to me so that's a strong possibility now last thing about this canvas is the uh, schematic. I just want to say that they use very simple, um, what's it called? Very simple symbols and I have not seen anything that could confuse for another. So one through nine or no it's one through eight and that stays on the numbers that they are so I know some people like that. Then it goes through some letters. It skips a few because I'm sure they don't want anything to be confusing. Then it goes to some very basic symbols. A diamond hashtag ampersand question mark slash percentage. This is the weirdest sign. I feel like there is both 38 and 34 which is like a Y with an equal sign in it and then just this little square in the corner which are still incredibly easy to read. I have not had, had an issue with how they printed this at all and I am extremely happy with this. So uh, yeah. By the way, if you want to buy your own Mary's Diamond painting and you want a little bit of a discount, you can use my code Jade20. I do not get anything back from this. This is just a coupon code for you guys um, that I want to share because if you guys can save a penny, why not? So you can basically get the larger size for the smaller size price. That's kind of how it breaks down. Overall, that is it for this canvas. I love her. I love squares and I'm just so thrilled that I am very happy that I'm about to have uh, I already have five so I'm gonna have another six I'm gonna have around 11 of Mary's Diamond Diamond paintings and I'm probably gonna buy more I just have to wait until they uh post more new work also everything they they sell now is legally licensed from the artist Nothing that they have on their site anymore is uh, copyright or, you know, stolen artwork. Everything is good to go. So if you post things anywhere, you're not going to get in trouble by having them out. Uh, yeah, I think that's everything that we need to, to say. Um, yep. Now let's go back up so I can start telling you about the giveaway. I cannot even begin to tell you how hot it is right now. If you see me sweating, just ignore it. I'm in Southern California and we're heading towards the mid maze and that's when all hell breaks loose when it comes to temperatures and I just can't, can't handle it, can't take it. But I digress, we're gonna move on to the giveaway. So uh, I didn't show you the packaging for the other canvas I showed you. I am not the type of person to keep boxes. I I store all of my diamond paintings without their boxes unless I think I may sell them later because I just don't have the room to have a bunch of boxes for no reason. I mean, but the packaging is cute. Like, it's fine. Uh, I'm just not a big box keeping person. If it came in a baggie, I'd be happy with that too. And since it's poured glue, you're not going to really have issues anyway. Uh, so, yeah. First, I'm going to tell you uh, a few things. Now, when I reached out to Mary's Diamond Paintings to tell them that I was about to place an order, uh, they very kindly gifted me a free diamond painting, which is this. 
and they told me uh, that they were just gonna send me something that I hadn't ordered and I could, you know, do what I want with it. They didn't ask me to do a video at all. They just gave it to me for free because, you know, I had talked to them and I let them know I was going to be filming a video. They didn't even ask for me to film this specific painting, uh, but they did send it to me for free just just for you know all clarity's sake I paid for the other painting and I paid for the other uh six paintings that I got but this one was complimentary and it's gonna uh bless you guys because you guys get to possibly win it now I'm taking this out and I'm going to tell you the name of the canvas this is kiwi by the artist fizzy pop cake um the other painting I just showed you is also Fizzy Pop Cake. I'm a real big fan of hers. I really like uh, her style of art, especially when it comes to diamond paintings. I feel like it translates really well. So uh, I may or may not have bought almost everything from her uh, like line with Mary's Diamonds. Now, just like with my other kit, it does come with two trays, two paint pens, two multi-placers, and plates of wax. So that's pretty normal. I'm going to put that back in. Now, the thing that's different about this one comparatively to the one I showed you is it is round. And the thing about rounds is that they have Aurora Borealis drills. And, you know, they don't say online how many Aurora Borealis colors that come with each painting. This painting comes with four AB drills, four. So I'm gonna uh, take you guys down and show you, but real quick, I wanna show you from a distance. This is Kiwi. I think she's so cute. They have also grape, lemon, cherry, grape, lemon, cherry, strawberry, which I have, so let me know if you wanna see that. And I think they have one more fruit. Um, they have other ones like the one I showed you, but I do love her Fruit Girl collection. They are so cute to me and I just wanna collect them because I'm such a fruit fanatic. I like like cute little fruity things. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them. I may give them to people, but I don't know. I just, I like working on things that are bright colors and bleh, unlike many diamond paintings, it has a white backdrop, which is something I adore. I don't like having to work with a lot of dark colors, so this just makes my heart happy. So let me take you down to the table so I can show you this a little more in depth. So here we are. This is Kiwi in 50 by 50. It has 39 colors and like I said, four AB drills. They do say AB. They list them as the um, DMC color, then AB next to it. So you do know what colors they match. Uh, I'm gonna take those colors out and show you, sorry for the crinkling. Okay, I'm going to show you all the AB colors up close and tell you where they belong. There are white AB drills, uh, which is color 5200, and it is triangles. So some of the highlights in her face, and I'm sure in all of this white, it goes somewhere there too. And I'm sure if you wanted to, you could sprinkle them into the normal 5200, which is all back here, but that's up to your discretion. Then there is 37, which is 666 AB, which is, you know, super fun. Uh, let's see, I see it right here. And again, I think you could add like highlights to her hair. They give you plenty of extra, even compared to what is labeled on the canvas, so that you can kind of add it in where you want. You can kind of customize it, similar to how you can do with DIY, DIY Moon Shop. Um, you know, so you can kind of play with where you want them. Then there is 38, which is 703 AB. This goes in a lot of the bottom of the Kiwis, nice highlights in the Kiwis right here. There's some in her shirt, some over here. It, these are kind of sprinkled everywhere. Now, ooh, I'll put that over there. Now with 39, this is 743 AB, which is highlighted in her glasses. Uh, I think that's the majority of where I see it, but again, they give you so many extras that you can kind of decide to sprinkle it where you would enjoy it, you know what I mean? So I think that's super nice that they include so much. Though there isn't a lot of placement, it kind of lets you play with it and you can add the sparkles where you want. 
So don't worry, I'm going to put these back in order so they will not look destroyed when you get them in the giveaway. See, they are back in place, nice and tidy. Again, comes in bags so you can work directly out of these bags if you do not want to kit up. Now, up close, I'm going to show you these. Obviously, I'm not going to take them out and put them in a tray because I want them to be nice and perfect for whenever one of you gets them. And here's the rendering for the rounds. Similar, rounds always look a little funny before you're finished because the backgrounds around the circles, you know, they match the background. Um, so rounds always look a little bit funky before you place all the drills. But overall, I think it is extremely adorable. I love her little pleated skirt, her little sheer top. She's just so cute with her little kiwi accessories. She, I just love the fruit girls. I know it's weird, but I have an obsession with all the fruit girls. So this is in size 50 by 50. So comparatively, I have the painting I just showed you underneath here. It's not too much smaller, but it shows a little bit less detail. If you want to do something quickly, then I think this is great. I mean, you can still see tons of detail. This is still huge. Like, these are my hands. This is a huge painting. But there, are, there is a bigger size, and it is the same size as the painting I just showed you. Again, their symbols are super clear and easy, as you can see. I'm not going to peel back the glue because I, again, want to keep it as nice as possible for the giveaway winner. But again, they go through the first eight numbers so you, that you don't have to confuse six and nine. Then they go through all reasonable alphabet, alphabetical letters that, you know, won't confuse the eye. And all of those same basic symbols. They pretty much use the identical symbols from the other kit, just a few less since it's 39 colors. And I think they do that on purpose because they chose the symbols that will be least confusing to the eye. So I think that pretty much sums up our beautiful girl, Kibi. What would you name her? You know what? I'm going to add that in the giveaway. So let's go back up so that I can tell you all the details on how you could win this lucky little lady. I cannot wait for this video to be over so I can turn my AC on because it is incredibly loud. That's why I don't put it on. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the possible giveaway or not possible. It is being given away, but the possible winnings. You know what I mean? So a few rules. Uh, you have to be following me on or subscribe to me on YouTube. It's kind of a, you know, obviously I'm giving it away on YouTube. I want it to go to a subscriber. Um, you can get bonus points by following either of my Instagrams, Jadakins or Jade the Taylor. My TikTok, which is also Jadakins. I pretty much am Jadakins everywhere except for my crafting slash uh, sewing Instagram, which is Jade the Taylor because my name is Jade and I am a seamstress, AKA a tailor, but my middle name's Taylor. It's a whole thing, you know? Uh, so if you wanna see my diamond painting stuff, you can follow there and to get an extra point. Um, but the only necessities are that you subscribe to me here. You have to comment below, what is your favorite part about diamond painting? Is it the sound when you pick your pen up off of a drill? Is it the, you know, the smell of the glue? Is it the way the canvases feel? Is it the art? Is it, Whatever it is, whatever it is. If you like the noise of kidding up, I love kidding up. So I might answer that if I were to do this. Um, and for a little bonus, uh, add an emoji, your favorite emoji. I just want to see your favorite emoji. So put what your favorite uh, thing about diamond painting is in the comments with your favorite emoji and you will be entered to win the giveaway. I will be announcing the winner here and asking for your email on June 13th. That gives you guys plenty of time. It's about a month to enter and possibly win this giveaway. So uh, I will be paying shipping. You don't have to pay any shipping. It's gonna go straight to you. I may or may not keep it in the box. I may put it, put it in a mailing tube just so there's no way it can get damaged because I don't have an elongated box, but I do have a shipping tube. So there's a possibility I may send it in a shipping tube, but I'll let you know beforehand so you know what to expect. Um, let's see. Let me get on my notes because I have ADHD and putting notes for my videos helps me get things done and I dropped a pen.
Uh, I did say this wasn't sponsored. I'm pretty sure I said that in the beginning. Not sponsored. I did get the giveaway painting for free, but I did pay for everything else and I'm not getting any kickback from my coupon code Jade20 or from Mary's Diamonds at all. Look at my puppy. I got a new dog. Um, there's my older dog, Cornelius, and there is Charlotte Mignonette. She's drinking water. She's perfect. Uh, so you get to be introduced to her. Now, everything I talked about in today's video will be linked down below. Both of the paintings I purchased, or well, the painting that you could possibly win and the painting I purchased and showed you will be linked down below, as well as their website and all of my Instagrams and such as that. I will also link the rules more clearly in case I didn't say them so so clearly so that you won't be confused on how to enter the giveaway and make sure you're entered for your chance to win. Um, Overall, that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. I hope you stay and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye. So hot. Now that the video is over, I'm going to give you a proper introduction to Charlotte Mignonette, who just went pee. You have baloney breath. I swear puppy breath smells like baloney. She's so sweet. Her ears keep flopping up and down. I don't know if they're gonna go up, but they might because half the time one of them is up, half the time one of them's down. She is a half Frenchie, half, her dad kind of looks like a Havanese, I'm not really sure. And uh, Cornelius over there is a half Maltese, half Chihuahua. So, you know, we love our mixed breeds here. I am what, see her ear just went up. Uh, I am a mixed breed myself being half Mexican, half white. So why not have the little mixed baby? Huh? Oh. I love her so much. She's so sweet, but she's such a brat. Uh, so far, she's been pissing all over the floor, even though she's half potty trained. She only poops in the litter box because I litter trained my dogs. But for whatever reason, she only pees in there about 50% of the time. So, you know, I'm trying not to murder this little cutie. But I just thought I'd introduce her because she is a good thing that happened in my life recently. And, uh, yeah. Bye!